Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. I've got something super special I have been waiting for for forever. It's a gear review today. I have a box. I literally have not even opened this box yet, but I know I'm here at my friend John and Dana Bloom shop, Refiner's Firearms in Anthem. They're one of my favorite FFLs. And uh, I think if you need any firearm stuff here in the Valley, they are who I send my guns to. So that's why I'm here, because I just filled out the 4473. Today's gear review on Active Self Protection Extra, an unboxing of my Lone Star Armory Texas 15. Big Tex Outdoors has holsters, accessories, optics, and other parts that you need as a self-defender. I'm one of his customers and I recommend him highly. Check out the page on our website with our favorite deals. Once again, I want to say thank you so much to Ike and his team at Big Tex Outdoors for sponsoring the gear reviews. They are incredible and incredibly fast shipping. In fact, I just ordered a couple of other things. We're going to do some reviews on the Holosun Dots and those kinds of things that I just ordered from him. I just ordered uh, a new light for this rifle. So uh, let's unbox it and check it out, shall we? So we've already popped the, uh, you know, the stuff. Obviously, they had to do all that to get in here, but I haven't gone in and even seen it. Honestly, here's the truth. Uh, Andrew and his team, they, they are uh, incredible, and these rifles are hand-built, and they are bespoke, okay? So when you're talking about a rifle, uh, especially a home defense carbine, you, you can now get one. I'm sorry, I think that the, the Rona has caused the days of the cheap AR to have passed us. For a while there, at the end of 19 and early 20, you could get an AR-15 for like 400 bucks if you wanted to have a range toy but those days are past seven eight hundred bucks for those now but if you go to get a good one one that's built that you can take out of the box put a little bit of lube in and depend your life on you're gonna spend a little bit more than that it's the same with handguns right uh and it's the same with a lot of stuff so let's give it an open shall we i want to check this out Ooh, look it's packaging and then some come and take it stuff. Ooh, look, some swag. We'll get to the swag later. A little bit of Lucas gun oil. You know, we like that stuff. That stuff is okay. All right, let's take a look here. So, hey, look, ships with a couple of uh, P mags, which is always a good thing. We've got a sling in here already set up. That's awesome. All right, rifle ships in two parts, and it is set up right. I can tell you that already. So let's take a look and see some of what we're looking at here. Come on in and take a look, Neil. Oh, <laughs> so first of all, the Lone Star here. I do want you to see this is a pretty cool thing. I didn't know you were doing this, Andrew, so God bless you, sir. Check that out. The serial number, ASP JMFC, which I will let you decide what that means. John, <laughs> Korea, that sometimes the staff uses that goofy nickname for me, 01. So custom serial number gun here. Uh, also very cool. He has made it ambi controls for me. So uh, no, no fire and fire, and it's a short throw. So it's a 45 throw. Short, um, I love that. I love the idea of, uh, I, I'm a big time left, you know, I, I shoot left-handed, so that's a big deal to me. So, oh my. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Andrew, what have you done, you fool? <laughs> so, A, you have an awesome uh, uh, forward mount, so I really like the, the, the offset cantilever on these. Uh, and a Schmidt Bender, wow, uh, one to eight. Oh boy, now it's time to put this rifle together. Let's just get a feel for it, shall we? Uh, let's see here. Well, maybe we ought to do that right and pop that front pin. So you guys know I am looking forward to doing some uh, rifle stuff here on the channel and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to do that. So it helps Korea if you take the pins out correctly. And I've been waiting to do it until I got this rifle in and we finally got it. And of course the Rona made everything take forever. Come on you, there we go. What a beautiful rifle. I am going to pop that and give it a little wiggle. So then that way that pops all the way in. <laughs> that probably needs a little push, a little bit of zhuzh. See if I've got something that I can just bonk that with a little bit. There we go. Tight, a little tight tolerance there. Wow. Okay, so a couple things that a lot of folks aren't going to really necessarily see that he's done really well for me instantly. Number one, got a properly mounted uh, low power variable optic. I think a lot of people mount their low power variable optics too far uh, backward and 
uh, this one is correct on a spur mount, which is pretty awesome. Also, I am not a huge fan of a big vertical, vertical foregrip, but he put a hand stop on it. That is the correct answer, in my opinion. The only thing that this rifle needs in order to go the way that I am ready for it to go is it needs to have the sling put on it. You know what I'm going to put on here. You know I'm going to put a Wilderness Tactical Just Enough Stretch Sling. It needs a white light. It's going to get one of those. That's coming from Big Tex. We'll talk about those when it gets here. First impressions. Wow. Why would you spend this kind of money on a rifle? Well, there's a big reason you would spend this kind of money on a rifle because you can depend your life on it. Um, now, of course, would I depend my life on this one yet? No, haven't put any rounds through it. Got to make sure it runs first. Got to do all the things that I always say to do. Well, John, that means you need to get to the range and put 500 rounds of rifle through this thing. And I go, gosh, that sounds like a terrible pay. I don't know if we can do that. Uh, so anyways, I love this. The, one of the things I like here, the handguard that he's got, very thin handguard. So this is uh, one of the big things I see is you get these big fat handguards and people really kind of, you know, have to get a big hand around them. Secondly, where your hand's going to go, he's put these uh, handguard covers on there so that it's more purchase for your hand and they're just a little grippy. Man, I love that. And uh, oh man, I just dig everything about this rifle. Well, Guys, guess what? I think it's time to get out there. Now, this is a big deal to me too. This is this tells me something. When Andrew and I talked, I, and I told him, build me a rifle like you'd want it. Um, he put on an ambi charging handle for me. And uh, a large ambi charging handle, handle, this is a Radian Raptor, uh, is a big deal because again, I'm left-handed. So a lot of times guys, when they don't run those and the, something goes wrong with the rifle or it's time, they gotta flip this rifle all the way over to come over and get this way, or they gotta take their hand off the, the controls of the gun to run this, but I don't have to do that. So uh, built for me as a lefty, beautiful rifle. Um, guys, now what are the, one of these gonna run you? When you get a bespoke rifle like this, that's built by hand, it's built by a gunsmith, that's not built on a, on a mass production line, you're not gonna get these rifles for 800 bucks. Uh, this rifle here, I think the, the Texas 15, uh, the base on this, now that's without the optics and all that stuff and all the, the, the custom touches. You're looking at about a $2,200 rifle. But now it's time to go take it to the range and maybe see why it's worth it.